Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently Saturday, Sunday the 27th of June. I'm currently reading Stage Fright by Garrett Boatman. I have a big rant about it because basically he presents the concept... I'm going to do it again. Dane reads... He presents the concept of dreamies, these dreams that you can have that are like recorded and then you can share with people. He presents it as his own idea and this was in 1980. Well this, this album here called Dreamies uh, came out in 1973 and this album was based on an Isaac Asimov short story about dreamies. So as Asimov mate, Asimov came up with that idea, not you Garrett Bowman. Don't pretend you came up with it because you didn't. I see, I see you Garrett Bowman, I see what you're doing. And whoever wrote the bloody introduction, the guy who wrote Paperbacks from Hell with Grady Hendrix, I can't remember his name. Being like, oh Garrett Bowman came up with this really great idea. No he didn't! Isaac Asimov came up with a really great idea. Ah, uh, hello, it is 10.30 on Monday the 28th of June, I feel not very good, I've got this like tightness in my chest, I mean luckily it's right down the middle so it's not lungs, it's not heart, uh, possibly cramp, possibly just the symptoms of anxiety, my mum reckons it's just the symptoms of anxiety, uh, but it makes it hard to breathe and hard to do anything at the moment really, so I've laid down a lot today in the hope that would make it better, taking a few painkillers and stuff. Um, I had my counselling earlier, which was interesting because it's the first time I've done my counselling whilst in the middle of feeling anxious, um, but it seemed to go quite well. Uh, missed a few client calls that I was meant to have because again, anxiety, oh my WhatsApp's going off. Shout out to Robin, that'll be Robin, uh, with a Y. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I heard, I think I said in my last vlog update, in the, which would be in the previous vlog, Today, the people I was supposed to be getting a mortgage from were meant to be doing a visit to the property I'm buying to value it. Um, instead, they called in sick, and then when my insurance guy, uh, my mortgage guy, sorry, when he reached out to them to find out what was happening, they also told him they've changed their mind about how much they can owe, uh, lend me, so they can lend me 20 grand less. Which means it's a write-off, which means we've wasted three to four weeks for this valuation that they then called in sick for, and they've changed their mind about lending me money anyway. So now we're on to mortgage application number five. So whether I'll ever get this house, I don't know. It's just ridiculous, it's so much stress. Which is probably part of the reason why I'm like physically ill because of this ridiculous amount of stress. So yeah, I'm currently still reading um, Stage Fright by Garrett Boatman. I'm still not particularly impressed by it, it's okay. Uh, Regina's book, uh, Black Magic, was way better. She sent me that at the same time. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, 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 Biggie. Oh, you not. <laughs> that was the cat making a brief cameo. Um, that's it for the vlog for now. Hopefully, I feel better tomorrow. Biggie's come to help his daddy take some photos, haven't you? Got all these vinyls to sell. Also, look at all these pens. All these Wickham Art Centre pens, Biggie. Aren't they cool? Yes, I love you, Wickham Art Centre. Yes. He's been very helpful by sitting on everything just as I'm trying to photograph it. Hello, it is, what is it? The 2nd of July. Oh no, I haven't flipped my calendars. There's a mental note, I need to do that. It's Friday the 2nd of July. It's quarter past eight in the morning. I haven't slept. Uh, I'm, well, my mental health's been pretty bad this week. I had a lot of anxiety earlier this week. Uh, but it seems to have got a little bit better. I still have this like chest and back, it's gone towards my back as well, so I don't know. Anyway, some weird pain shit going on. Uh, I finished reading Daisy Jones and the Six, which was very good. Uh, I gave that a four out of five. What was I reading before that? I was reading um, a book about dreamies. Uh, oh yeah, so I haven't updated you all week because I think last time I told you I was reading Stage Fright by Garrett Boatman and I had my little rant about dreamies. This was a three out of five in the end. Uh, fairly typical of like 80s horror I guess. I mean if it's your bag check it out. I'm just annoyed that it ripped off Isaac Asimov. Then I read Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So this was given to me by my friend Amanda. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Probably a 4 out of 5. I do think it's a little bit overhyped, but hey ho. A full review of that coming soon so you can see my full thoughts. I did like the way that it was presented as an oral history though. Uh, it reminded me of Rant by, um, what's his name? Chuck Paul in it. And I am now currently reading Nine Tomorrows by Isaac Asimov. This is a collection of nine short stories. They're all themed about, like, the humanity of tomorrow, I guess. 
Um, quite enjoying this one, it's short stories and I always enjoy Asimov short stories. I like the fact that there's a theme to it. I think it's a really beautiful cover as well. I love this blue colour. Um, it's the same colour as my vape actually. <laughs> there we go, which I'm using as a bookmark. But um, what flavour is that? Blue raspberry lemonade, delicious. Yeah, let's have a, let's have a... I'm coming up to uh, six months without smoking, so that's good. Uh, as I say, my mental health has been a bit shocking, but, but hey-ho, uh, mostly probably because I've been nocturnal. Uh, finally, as I say, awake in the morning, so the plan is to now power through because we have theatre tomorrow and on Sunday at Wickham Arts Centre. I'll check Sundays out if I can. I haven't chatted to the girl I'm kind of date dating. Are we dating? Not really. We've been on two dates. Sorry, I just gave you the fingers. We've been on two dates. Um, I don't really know if it's going anywhere, but it's nice to go out and do something, you know? So we went to Hewenden last, last week, which was nice. But uh, if the weather's nice on Sunday, I might go see her and go to Richmond Park. I don't know, I haven't asked her yet. So uh, we will see. If not, I'll go to the art centre because our in-house theatre company, Roundabout Creative Theatre, are having like uh, an open rehearsal of their new play, The Master Plan, which would be quite cool. But I'm definitely going to be at the art centre tomorrow for we have a family fun day with Victoria from Dreadfalls Theatre. She's doing a couple of plays. It's going to be a lot of fun. I really like her stuff. Uh, and I'm only there to, I'm like supervising basically. So Fran, who's my boss, or she's the bar manager. Uh, she's away this week, but she's already booked bar staff, so I just have to be there to answer any questions they have and maybe to help out here and there. Got to print some posters off. Drop off all of these awesome Wickham Arts Centre pens. This is only one of the bags of pens as well. We have two bags. So I'll go there for that and I'll take my laptop. And if, because uh, I'm, I'm relatively light on work at the moment, I've had enough to keep me going. It would be nice if my work stayed at around this level, to be honest. Uh, it's probably about the dream level. But yeah, it should mean that actually I don't have to work over the weekend, in which case I can write some stuff and I'm very excited to. But yeah, uh, I also got loads of vinyl in the post, vinyl singles. I, I got 195 singles for £10, including postage. So I found about 30, 40 of those I'm going to keep and the rest are going on eBay once they unrestrict my account, which will hopefully be soon, because I normally list stuff while I'm editing and I have loads of stuff to edit. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, today I'm going to be listening to some of those vinyls. I'm going to be doing a few like literally worky bits, uh, trying to stay awake so that I can go to sleep at a normal time to be awake for tomorrow for the theatre. Read some more of Nine Tomorrows, uh, which by the way, once I've read this, I'm back down to 49 currently reading, which is very exciting. And that's about my plan, and do a little bit of filming. So I'm going to go do that. Oh, you come in to say hello. Da -da 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 -da. Hello! Hello internet! It's Dane and Biggie, isn't it? It's Dane and Biggie. Dane and Biggie wants to go down. Okay, good boy. It is Monday. Uh, it's 12.50pm uh, on Monday the 5th of July. Uh, let's see, what did I get up to this weekend? A um, couple of things at the Art Centre really. So Saturday we had our family fun day with Dreadfuls Theatre, which was very cool. Um, so some nice um, like family friendly theatre although I enjoyed it as well. And then more theatre on Sunday, we had uh, The Master Plan performed by Roundabout Creative Theatre, which is like our in-house theatre company at the Art Centre. They wrote this piece over Zoom during lockdown and it was very cool. Uh, I'm currently reading Banquets of the Black Widowers by Isaac Asimov. I've got like 40 pages left to go. It's like a short story collection of like kind of detective stories basically. Um, there's like these people, they meet up um, and they eat food and they have different guests and they can ask their guests some questions and there's usually some sort of mystery involved. Uh, it's probably on par for like a 4 out of 5 at the moment. Speaking of 4 out of 5, that's also what I gave to, uh, to 9 Tomorrows by Isaac Asimov, which is my last read. And next up, I think I'm going to read Distraction Pieces by Scroobius Pip, which is uh, it's non-fiction. It's basically highlights from his podcast where he has various guests and celebrities and stuff on it. So that's very exciting. And I've also, uh, today, I've literally just won two uh, books by um, Aldous Huxley. Is it Aldous Huxley? I think it is Huxley. I don't know, we'll see when they arrive, but I'm looking forward to get those getting here. Um, but after I finish this Banquets of the Black Widowers, that'll put me down onto 48 currently reading. So even when these two new books arrive, I'll just be back to 50. And my goal is to try and get to and stay under 50. So that's not too bad, I would say. Yeah, I'm just cracking on with being productive. Because I've done some work over the weekend, I don't actually have a huge amount of work to do at the moment. 
Uh, I have my counselling at half two as well, so I've got that. Um, and then maybe some more work will come in. We will see. If not, relatively easy day today. Hello everybody. It is, what is it? It is Saturday the 10th of July at about 9pm. Mad week. I haven't even written in my journal much. So that tells you how busy I've been. Uh, I haven't done any other writing for that matter either. I've actually mostly been sleeping. Uh, so I haven't had a lot of work on this week. So I've kind of, my body's just been like, ugh. And so I've been having like, some days I've had like 12, 14 hours of sleep, which is ridiculous, but hey ho. Um, what else have I got to update you on? Um, mortgage process, I might still be getting my house, I might not. The current stumbling point is that um, in March, I had literal sewage coming up into my shower. My landlord wasn't answering his phone, so I got an emergency plumber out. So he ended up agreeing to knock that off the amount of rent I had to pay, because it cost me 235 quid, which is like $300 for a, an emergency plumber. And because I didn't pay as much rent in March, the bankers are now using that to say, well, you have no proof that you can pay a consistent rent. And it's like, but, but I didn't have to pay the full amount because I paid 235 quid on a plumber. So anyway, I might not be able to get a mortgage because of that now. It's just any reason that we use any reason they can to just say, no, you're declined for this, for that, for like stuff where the, you know, this fucking government grant thing where they were like, oh, it's not gonna affect your credit rating, but they didn't speak to the banks. So the banks are just like, yeah, no, it does affect your credit rating. Just fucking everything. It's all ridiculous. I've had a few, I think I've had three different mortgage people now actually look at my credit report as well. And they all say like, I have one of the best credit reports that you can get. The only way it could be any better would be if I had a car loan or something like that, but I, I don't have a car, I have no debt. Like, anyway, it's all fucking ridiculous. Currently reading Nemesis by Isaac Asimov, which was, which is, I mean, I'm 40 pages from the end. It's just okay. Um, it's not one of his best. He's kind of stretched it out about 100 pages too long as well. But um, I just don't really, in, like, I'm not too interested in the characters. The world's going to die in 5,000 years. Uh, don't really care about that either. I mean, we're living in a society in which our world's fucked in 50 years. So I don't you know, the threat of annihilation in 5,000 years, it doesn't seem very high stakes to me, considering like, again, we, we're within our lifetimes, or within my lifetime, we need to do something about global warming, otherwise the planet is fucked. Same with overpopulation, really. And so it's like, why would we worry about that? That's like me worrying that like, I don't know, it's like me worrying I'm not gonna be able to pay my rent in 30 years time, when, like I can't even afford to buy food today. It just seems like a weird thing anyway. So it's like very low stakes, but it's supposed to be high stakes. And I'm not engaging with the characters or the storyline really. So anyway, it's still like 3.5 out of 5 probably, but a low one. I also finished Distraction Pieces by Scroobius Pip. This was also a low 3.5 out of 5. Um, it just felt quite low effort. So this was just like, there's a bunch of transcriptions of people who've appeared on his podcast basically. And it's just like, I don't know. I don't know, it doesn't really need to exist, you know? It feels like a series of like transcribed podcasts shoved on a blog and then turned into a book. Um, so anyway, uh, I went to the open mic night at Wickham Art Centre yesterday. Oh, hello. We've got this little boy with me. Hey, let me have a cuddle. Let me have a cuddle, Biggie. Okay, we'll put you down, we'll put you down. Didn't sign up for that, he was literally just walking in here. Um, yeah, I went to the open mic yesterday. It was quite a quiet one, but that was alright. It meant um, we had a new guy who was really good, so he played two sets, and me and my friend Dave played a few tunes at the end, which was good as well. And uh, yeah, it was a good one. Nothing else planned for the rest of this weekend, apart from work and being productive. Uh, and then next week I'm going to visit my mum in Tamworth, so that should be nice. So that's where I'm at. Gonna go finish reading Nemesis, and then I've got Milk and Honey by Ruby Core and Antic Hay, a novel by... Um, Aldous Huxley. So those both came in the post and I'm excited to get to them. Yo, okay, so a bit of a scene change. I'm sitting in my mum's garden at the moment, having come to visit her. This is her very pink shed. Uh, let's see, what, what have I done this week? So, uh, I think I last updated on Monday. So Tuesday I traveled down here and then I went out for a meal with my dad, which was nice. And then Wednesday went to see my grandparents, my uncle Carl, went for another meal. And today I saw my granddad didn't go for a meal though um, but I did just eat some of the vegetables that he'd given given to my mum 
uh, that he'd grown in his garden, so that was very nice. In terms of me reading, so I finished reading Prelude to Foundation by Isaac Asimov. It was kind of weird because it got a lot better towards the second half. And there was also a nod to Nemesis, which I read quite recently as well. So it was strange to like read that book and have a note <laughs> referring back to the other book, you know. Uh, and there was a robot in there, like there was a big twist towards the end where one of them turned out to be a robot. So yeah, the first quarter of that book, it was split into like four sections. First quarter wasn't very good. Second one was okay, and then it got really good. So I read that, then I read The Essential Spike Milligan by Spike Milligan, and I'd already read like half of that, because there was a lot of, there were like excerpts from his war memoirs, and some of his poetry collections, and some of his novel, uh, and all that stuff. So that was like a really quick one. I really whizzed through that one. And now I am reading The Truth by Peter James. So that's how far in I am. I started this yesterday, I think, so I'm hoping to pretty much finish it kind of tomorrow or, or, or if not over the weekend I'm currently down to 43 currently reading I think and as I say I'm not far off finishing this also not far finishing uh, off finishing my bedtime book which is uh, writing home by Alan Bennett so possibly next week I'll get down to sub 40 which is like a new low for me which is good um, but also it's good to not have loads of unread books on my TBR because I finally heard back from the mortgage guy and I've been offered my mortgage so I can finally move house and start making plans for that and stuff so I need to wait a couple days before I get like a definite date that I can work towards but uh it is something so that is where I'm at and now I'm gonna go and watch some more of the imitation game with my mum hello people of YouTube as you can see I'm back home that's where I live whatever background I've, I've popped in um, yeah, I had a good old time in Tamworth. I think I updated you pretty much on all of that. Um, so on Thursday evening after I filmed, I had my bath, came back Friday. Last night there was a Sloth in the City gig at Wickham Arts Centre. They were supported by Amrit Sond. So Amrit Sond is a Grammy Award winning guitarist. Sloth in the City are like a jazz folk duo. Uh, really great evening, lots of good music. Uh, and then I sort of stayed up late last night. Um, I told you that I've got my mortgage offer finally. So I've started doing a little bit of packing here and there. Not much, but I'm sort of slowly chipping away at it, you know. So that's mostly what I've been working on recently. Uh, in terms of books, I finished reading The Truth by Peter James on my way back here. That was a 3.5, pretty strong one in the end. Um, I also finished reading Writing Home by Alan Bennett, uh, which has been my bedtime book. And, where's the other one gone? And I also read this book, which I haven't even hauled yet, which is The Prince by Machiavelli. I picked this up at a charity shop. Uh, it's basically like Italian version of the art of war, I guess. Written in about, I think, 15, 1600s. And um, basically Machiavelli was trying to get a prince to like him so he could get political power. So he wrote this book full of advice based on like uh, history and like what had worked well for previous rulers and all of that stuff. It was all right, 3.5 out of five. It was a bit like reading a history textbook, but uh, I, can, I can forgive it for that, you know? Um, and so I've now started, oh yeah, I read as well, wherever the hell I just put it. Uh, I finished reading uh, Writing Home by Alan Bennett. So this is a collection of like essays, various other bits and bobs. It has the entirety of The Lady in the Van in here, which I'd already read as well. Uh, this was a three out of five. It was just too big and bulky, so it didn't really keep my interest. And a lot of it was like obituaries for people I'd never heard of and stuff like that. And like his old diary entries, which I wasn't too interested in. But I'm glad at least I've read it and I've ticked that off. So I started reading a new bedtime book, which is Depression and How to Survive It by Spike Milligan and Anthony Clare, um, which is exactly as it sounds. It kind of looks at depression and then sh there's a bit of a uh, bit of biography about Milligan as well. It's only about 200 pages, so should finish that in a couple of weeks. Uh, my main book at the moment is Mother Tongue by Bill Bryson, The Story of the English Language. So this is non-fiction, basically about the development of English, and I'm enjoying it so far. So that is where I'm at. I'm going to do some filming now. Um, most of my editing I'm up to date with. In fact, the only things I currently have to edit are, I've got a few things rendering that I will eventually be able to edit once they render. Um, but otherwise I'm working on some shout outs as well because I haven't done May, June and July shout outs are all filmed and not edited. And I've prepped my August shout outs as well. So all of that stuff going on. And yeah, so I'm doing some filming now. And then later on this evening, I should do more editing and more eBay listing. Uh, with eBay when I move, you can actually, you can put like holiday mode on or whatever, so I think for like two, three weeks while I'm moving house, 
I can pause sales on my eBay uh, to give me time to move all of the books and stuff. But they'll be the last things that I pack here and pretty much the first things that I unpack because I'm making money through them, you know. Um, so at the moment I've started packing stuff but it's like, I don't know, down here I've got some wall hangings and stuff. Uh, I've got a bag down here that's got a couple of jumpers in it, a few other bits and bobs. I'm basically just packing stuff that I know I'm not going to need, you know, over the next six to eight weeks. So I'm hoping, well this time next week I should at least have a good idea of the date I can move in. And then I would imagine by the end of August I should have moved into the new place. So it's all very exciting. So yeah, I'm off to do that. Hello everybody, it is currently 10.40pm on Sunday the 18th of July. I've got a proper earache man. I get a lot of these, I get a lot of ear infections and stuff. This one's like going all the way down the side of my face and into my chin, it's very painful. Uh, what have I been doing? I've been doing some more packing. Um, it looks like a bit of a sty in here, I'm not going to lie. like Because I've taken everything off the walls, there's actually behind here there's a wall of colouring in, which I need to take all of that down, but it's sort of brought some of the paint off with it, so you can see how badly it needs a lick of paint around here, you know? Basically the whole room needs repainting, um, but that's okay because it also needs a new carpet. So I'm hoping when I move out, the, hope, the goal will be that the landlord will just keep my deposit um, and then won't try and take me to court for further damages or whatever. But I would say now, uh, so in here I still have that wall to do, I have a little cupboard down there which has got Biggie's toys in, I have a space under the stairs there that I need to sort through. Um, but other than that, that's the porch, the living room and the uh, bedroom all sorted. Um, oh granted, like there's all my books and my vinyl but that's just going to have to stay until the end because I've used that on eBay, you know. So I'm trying to pack everything else that I can. I don't have a moving date yet anyway, so I'm just hoping it's going to be soon, you know. Oh, now I've got now I've got no battery and Biggie's playing with his toys, so if you hear a noise, that's what that is. Very annoying noise. <laughs> uh, I've done a bit of the kitchen as well, I've done most of the cupboards. I still need to do the inside of the fridge and wipe the fridge down. I need to do underneath the sink, I need to do my washing up, uh, wipe a few surfaces and that kind of thing. I need to do the garden, uh, the porch and the car park and all those bits. Um, and then the bathroom as well. And so yeah, I, I also I've kind of reached the point now where I can't really do anything else because I have to wait for my bins to be taken because I've filled up the bins with rubbish. Uh, so they'll be taken away on Thursday and then as of Thursday I can crack on again. So I'm just gonna do what I can now to finish off um, you know, the bits that I've started basically. Uh, and then I'm going to do a bit of housework, so I'm going to do the hoovering, a bit of wiping down and stuff. Because as soon as I give my notice, the landlord's going to want to come round, you know. So, uh, not sure about that. <laughs> but hopefully I'll find out more tomorrow. So tomorrow I have a Zoom at 11.30 in the morning, which I have to be awake for, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, then I have some website training and then another Zoom at 4. I don't know, I might just stay awake all night, we will see. Those are all art centre things. Other than that, most of my work's done anyway. Uh, most of my video editing is done. I've just got a few more videos left to edit. A few I'm going to film this evening, hopefully, if the battery lasts me. Um, and then, like, I've got like about 70 odd, 80 odd more things to put on eBay. So that's all coming along nicely. I'm still reading Mother Tongue by Bill Bryson. I'm about two thirds of the way through now. I'm very much enjoying it. And a full review will be coming soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And I think that's about it. So, I'm going to love you and leave you for this week's reading vlog. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.